for that.
she's down for her first nap of the day. I will empty out the dishwasher, get the dogs out, go for a wee, and then put on some makeup because it will look like a walrus at the moment. I'm also going to get Ned's lunch prepared as well. So I'll just boil some pasta and get his lunch done when I'm here as well. So I'll show you once I finish that. Well, that boils. Let's go brush our teeth. This is last night's poo explosion. So I just put some sad or vanish, whatever I have, and just put to clean this before I actually go ahead and pop it into the um, washing machine. Let's have a load for lunch is done. And then let me just have some leftover pasta that I can have for dinner. Well, I don't know if this is good or not, but I do do this. I put baby powder on my dogs, then change their clothing like every three days or so because I wash their jumpers, especially after it gets really cold. So we're going to do that. And this just like helps preserve their bath, as in like their grooming. Abby! Oh, that's so you know you're not in trouble. The session of you getting dog though. Like if I say don't move, you'll truly won't move. You're such a good boy. You're a good boy. Look at you. Oh, it's oh so pretty. Now you're so warm. Your clothes are so warm. Yeah, really nice Oreo. She hates it. Let me see you. Oh, so pretty Oreo. Okay, now I can get dressed and um, put some makeup on. And we look like a normal human being. I don't have much on today. Kept it very plain, very minimal and simple and I love it. It's now 9.46 a.m. So around 9 o'clock she'll wake up. If she doesn't, that's totally fine. And then we'll feed, play on the bed. Give her vitamins, she's got some probiotics and vitamin D that her pediatrician told me to give her. And then do her first activity of the day, like her first exercise of the day, which is tummy time. I'll make her do about five to ten minutes of tummy time. And I record everything on an app called Huckleberry. I've mentioned this before. Just that one over there so you guys can see progress so um she's been sleeping since 7 30. now she's been sleeping for an hour and 18 minutes in and out of sleep so she's going through a rem sleep at the moment where she's like awake kind of um and is ready to get up so why do i have moths everywhere I like two moths in the house so and see if she's gonna wake up i need to go to the toilet actually i love how structured i am with her day in my life at the moment because it does help me out a lot when it comes to with my clients or with my training or whatever and I also love the fact that I have everything in place it feels like she knows what's going to happen next and I know what's going to happen next which gives us both a bit of clarity but in saying that like if she's not uh, comfortable or if she doesn't sleep until sleep time 
she's not a robot that's totally fine okay we'll, we'll sit down and play or we'll do what she wants which is exactly what happened last night um she didn't want to sleep and i was like oh god and then come around her second nap of the day she just chucked a tantrum and i was like oh my gosh okay and didn't want my boobs and i was like what the hell's going on but like yeah i just want to put that out there it's okay to have your baby in a routine um or somewhat of a routine i just go with the flow i let her put me in a routine so i wasn't the one telling her when to eat when to sleep i let this happen naturally and i'm just following what happened naturally what nephes chose for her day so i'm not making that decision for her she's made that decision herself she wakes up a little bit more a little bit less than the time that's over here but at least it gives me a time frame of what she wants to do next um, but yeah this is what we've established being nine weeks into her life this is what she's chosen to do and this is just what i'm following and what i'm working my day around Again, it gives me a bit of clarity for going out, seeing family, doing my clients, going to the gym, you know, doing my PT stuff, making food, making dinner, at least that way I'm a little bit more structured with my life around her, if that makes sense. So, hope you guys enjoy. I need to change my battery, but it's now 9.07, so she's got to about 9.30 till she'll like muck around and wake up. Currently hasn't waken up yet, she's still moving about while she's in that state of waking up. Um, I will go ahead and fold the clothing that I have to. She does this for about maybe 30 to 40 minutes. Sometimes if she's really hungry, she will scream and then I know to go get her, but I'll let her wake up on her own. I will not intervene. She's her first cry. Go wait a little bit until she's sure she wants to wake up. She's just looking around. Honestly, how cute is that? I never thought I'd watch my daughter run something like this. Oh, yeah. You're so cute. I love you. Can you just wake up, please? Just wake up. When she goes to sleep. Alright, when she wakes up, I will open the camera and show you guys our routine as well. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Freedom! Freedom! Yes! Oh, is someone awake? Uh, is someone awake? Is someone awake? Awake, awake! Oh no, oh no! Is that your daddy waking up? Oh, she's still looking at you! Is that daddy waking up? Baba Gina, my bucky, I'll be the gilios and Baba Ya Ice Cream! Let's get your vitamins. First your D3.
<laughs> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so Chloe ready for the day. Tummy time mats, book, bibs, towels, toys, dummies, nappy bags, nappy bags, like thermometers, yada yada yada. There you go, nappies, earbuds, wipes, more thermometers, more dummies and sanitizer. And some Tiga toys like I always would play with her while she's changing her nappy. What's this? I bought this one yesterday. This is new. Not till she's three months anyway. Are we changing that nappo? Are we going to change your clothing? Get out of PJs? Good. You absolutely love. Oh, I know. That's going to be a bit cold. I know. I know. I know. Tell me about it. I'll feed her around too and bring her back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You put the bib on. You're not eating mama, but we'll just see. Oh, so gorgeous. Let's fix your hair. You look amazing. Look at you. She'll either do this before sleeping, like she's always restless before sleeping, so that's why I just rock her, or um, she'll keep refusing the dummy and then want the boob again. So I'll just top her up and she will, I know it, some people don't like her, but she will fall asleep or get into that sleeping mode on the boob. And I just let her do it. Get ready and then go downstairs for a train. Obviously I'll have the monitor with me. And that's next to her. Just to show you my routine, I'll go downstairs and do a hip session, okay, if you insist. <laughs> but I'm going to clean here, not waste any time, pop my active wear on, go downstairs and get in whatever workout I can within the half an hour because she does go through like one sleep cycle and that's it, which is around 30 to 40 minutes, max an hour. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys downstairs. And just for your reference, it's 10.35. Alrighty, I thought I'd bring you guys along. I'm doing a hit guide, a thousand and a hundred, thousand and two hundred reps by my own booty guide. But I thought I'd bring you guys along. If you guys do want any of my ebooks, they're linked down below as always. But let's get into it. First up, we've got a hundred skips. I was just in the middle of them. Okay, and then 
I'll show you what they look like, what my guide looks like. So that's what it looks like. And now I've got 19 mountain climbers. I'm going to love that. Honestly, honestly. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. squat jumps she's awake but she's just having quiet time I'm keeping watch of her five burpees better is running out but that's a wrap two sets of them half an hour you're done call it for a day and then for Ricky we have some protein custard we have like 16 grams of cornflakes and then about 34 grams of the crunchy nut Jesus this car's going everywhere just what I have at home, I'm trying to finish it up. Just chewing. I left you like this so I can go to work out. But she's still doing some quiet time in her bed. So I'm gonna go get the rest of my load. That is now dry in the dryer. Perfect, it's just finished. And then I'll go ahead and wash the rest. Eleven thirty and she's up. No, girl. Did you wake up? <gasps> Did you wake up? Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Okay, I totally forgot if this is feed three or four of the day, but let's just go with three. It is um, 12.10, so um, after I give her a top up of the other side, no, 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 that's when I'll probably head out, which is when we always head out around 12 after 12. Hey, she did have a mini tantrum, but that's okay. Let's change her nappy. We came up. Oh. oh. Hey, booby two is done. Another nappy change because we did a poo, which is always the case. Um, and we'll head out to the shops. I'll record on my phone though when I'm at the shops. Outfit of the day. So it is now almost one o'clock, almost time for her third or fourth nap of the day. So by the time that I come back, it'll be her time to go for the uh, feed or... Um, you know, she will decide to sleep a little bit and then play around and then have a feed. Um, if we weren't going out, I would pop her down for a nap. So that's the go. And I'm not going to record on my phone. I don't have much storage on my phone. So I will come back home and if I have anything that I bought, I will definitely vlog it for you guys and show you guys a little bit of a haul. It is so dark and gloomy, but currently 2.23. I know this is like a really ugly face to be on a watch, but my daughter did it like as she was touching me and everything. Ah. <sighs> I reply back to my friend. All right, we'll just keep it on this one for now. Two twenty-three. Um, she's been in and out of sleep for an hour and ninety minutes. So as soon as I went to the shops, got out of the car, I popped this bad boy on, um, and it is currently two. two I just said that it's two twenty-three. Anyway, I did grab a few things from like Kmart and everything, and I did go to Coles. Oh my god, I'm so excited! It's my sister's birthday this month, on the nineteenth of May, and as I'm filming this today is. What is the day today, girlfriend? It is the 15th of May, Sunday. I'll do calls first before she wakes up because she's moving. Mm -hmm. So I bought these. I don't know which one I'm going to use, but I do want to buy her like a lot of the protein donuts from Micro Hut. I'll show you. So these ones, I love them. 
I love them, but I can't eat them at the moment. I do want to incorporate like whey protein and dairy once a day, even though I'm breastfeeding when she hits three months or when her digestive system is like more mature. I do want to start doing it because I love my protein. I love my whey protein. I love my chocolate and my dairy and my protein. And I love stuff like this, you know? So anyway, I digress. I want to buy my sister a shit ton of them. I also want to buy her a shit ton of the Musashi protein bars because per bar is like $5. Not even joking. The big ones are $5. The small ones are like $3 something or $4 if I'm not mistaken. So I want to buy her a shit ton of them as well. I'm buying her a spent coffee machine. A black one or this one. This one over here because I bought her the toaster and the kettle last year. So I just want to complete her set and make her a protein cake. Because I know she's not going to have a real cake and I'm not going to go out wasting money and bothering buying a real cake when she is the one that's important and is not going to enjoy it. You know what I mean? So I thought I would get the No Shoe Low Sugar Low Carb Cake Mixes. And I love this stuff. I make their brands. Matter of fact. I have their brownies in the fridge. That's how much I love them. They're a weekly thing. I make them every single week. Um, so, yeah, I do want to do that, all right? But 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I'll make it on the 7th. I'll make it on the 18th. I'll make it, yeah, on the 18th. That way on the 19th or the 20th, she can come over and pick it up and get stuff. So I bought those two cake mixes. I'll probably make the vanilla one and then um, keep the chocolate one to myself. Then I bought three cartons of almond milk. I didn't go crazy. I wanted to, to be honest, like with the almond milk and stuff and just restocking. But I know for a fact that um, we're going to do groceries tomorrow. So there's really no point. So just three cartons of almond milk. And then I got this because I actually use the tub. Oops, she's the way. And then I got myself some protein bars. I wanted to try these ones out from Coles, the form ones. They're plant-based. Had one in the car. They're really good. They're all right. They're not, they're not great. They're not, like, really flavoursome. And then my, honestly, go-tos are the BSC ones. These aren't great at all. If you've had the normal BSC bars, these are disgusting next to it. But, I mean, you got to do what you got to do, you know? And then last few things is some almond latte by Nescafe. So this is a plant-based powdered coffee. The reason why I got this is because next month, um, within the first week, we're going to the snow. And I'm not going to have, like, my kitchen and everything there. So I thought this would be a good alternative for a coffee. And then some sugar syrup or vanilla syrup and caramel. So for my coffees. <sighs> what else? That's her blanket. This is her little dolly. I didn't buy these, they were just in the car. But what I got from Kmart are these. I got one for the pram, maybe this one for the pram. I'll pop that on the pram. And then this one for her little gym over here. And then um, I got myself some home shoes that I can wear inside the house. That's like open, that you can have airflow. Because my biggest pet peeve is having closed in shoes and my feet sweating. It's disgusting. And then this was in the car anyway. I, I don't know where I got this from. Where did I buy this from, Big W? But yeah, this was in the car, so I thought I'll pop it on her little at-home gym. But anyway, that's my little update. This girl on the dot. 3.10, 3 o'clock, 3.30, wake up. I swear to God, she's really good with her time. So that's why I said I didn't put her into a routine. She put me into a routine, and I'm just following her natural flow. Yes, there's going to be some parents out there saying, you can't put a baby into a routine. It's not a routine. It's just her daily needs and wants, and they seem to fall into a pattern, so I'm just following that pattern. But I did make an almond latte, so I'm going to have this while I feed her. Um, and I did put a dash of vanilla in there, and like a shit ton of sweeteners because that shit is rank. It's disgusting. But I just want to test it out to see if when we go on the holiday, not a holiday, it's just going to be a trip away. Um, but Ned and I's first holiday... We, because we got married in COVID and we didn't even have a honeymoon, weren't able to travel because it was just COVID upon COVID upon COVID and lockdowns after that. But now I'm having it in my coffee mug that my best friend got me since you got this. This was my push present from her. And now it tastes good. Now it's like, yeah, that's going to be a good coffee. All right. I shall feed her. Once again, update. Missy decided to go back to sleep. It's now 4.20. 4.20. Oh, 
420 she says <laughs> and she's not awake I'm letting her go though I don't care so um, everything will be pushed back like her feeding and everything will be pushed back so she went she went down at 130 230 34 30 which is a good kind of thing she is starting to wake up hopefully let's see because my boobs are about to explode she's awake let's go grab her Hi, you're ready. I get so bored when she's sleeping. I think it's like, you want to Hello. 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 You go into activity, indoor play, start that. We'll do this for 10 minutes. They'll just like promote her to, you know, reach up and touch the toys while I get my dinner ready. And she's been there for about 10 minutes. She's loving life. She's actually having so much fun. Um, she looks so cute. Oh, my God. I don't want to pick her up, but then I don't want her to be too overstimulated, you know. Like, I want her to actually sit down and enjoy this swimming as well. So I'm going to dress her up appropriately because I feel like she's colder. I'll pop a little blanket over her and pop her in her little... Um, in her swing currently six o'clock exactly on the dot if you guys can see that and she will spend about like this and then till about 6 30 ish seven o'clock pop her down for another nap but I don't want to get her away from there like so abruptly I'll go pick out her blanket oh no she's got a blanket and then Hey, you see? Can I take you away from your toys, please? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mummy, sorry. Come. Yeah, it's freezing, bub. <sighs> yeah, so much work, I know. I know. I know, Mum. <clears throat> so she'll sleep till about 8.39 if she doesn't decide to wake up an hour later but I'm going to take her now to the room and pop her down. She's on. Timer is on. Now time for dinner. So this is dinner. We've got my chicken meatballs. I'll pop the recipe in this vlog at the end. And then steam pumpkin. And that's a mixture of black mayo and ketchup. I'm so sorry at the way that I look, but I was just squeezing my face. 
um, waiting for her to wake up because my titties are on fire. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock. 10.05. Oh no, sorry. 10.03. 10.02. Whatever. 10 o'clock. She's just waking up now, so that'll take like from anywhere from 5 minutes to 25, 30 minutes. Those guys from here. But I'll go grab her when she's awake and then feed her again. And this will be her last feed for the PM because the next feed is at 1 a.m. and then um, from 1 a.m. all the way through to 5, 6, sometimes even 7 a.m. So I let her sleep that those hours. And if she's really hungry, she'll wake me around like 4, um, but depending on yeah, her needs and everything. So that's going to be the end of the night. I'll definitely show you guys as well, so don't fret. But, yeah, she's, she's slowly waking up. I'll sit down, go on my phone for a bit, edit, just till she screams. Not scream. Hold that thought. She's ready to be awake. Yeah, you are so hungry. Oh. Oh. making her cry? Let's give her the boo. We are done. Down, look at the little clock behind me. That's just the arms keep falling down and it scares me because I feel like there's a ghost in the house. But it is 11. So exactly an hour later, we are done. Nappy's changed. She's a bit squirmy because she's got gas or she wants to sleep and she's hating the fact that she's on my shoulder at the moment. Uh, listen, you see? Like she wants to sleep but she also needs to burp. Come on, babe, let it out so we can go to bed, both of us. Oh, you're so beautiful. So now I know this is going to be really bad of me, but I will have another coffee. Only because I do get a little bit sleepy. They say sleep when the baby sleeps. That's literally the worst advice anybody has ever given me. It pisses me off. Um, but... I'm going to have another coffee, a uh, very light one, but still I have a coffee only because I do want to keep alert and awake till about 1.30 till I have to feed her next if she wants that feed. So that's like a if situation. Sometimes she doesn't. Sometimes she'll sleep through the night um, and wake me up around 3 um, or wake me up around 4 o'clock. And then, yeah, I'll wake up then um, and feed her. Sometimes she'll wake up around 1.32 and want to feed. We'll see how we go. So, like I said, this is a rough guide for me. It's not a set routine. She's not a robot. Like, I'm not putting down rules for her or anything. And I know people say that, our oh, breastfed babies don't have a routine, yada, yada, yada. It's true. It's true because they can just want it because they can just want it you know like they can literally just want the boob sometimes she does do that sometimes she'll go down for a feed then like maybe an hour later she just want to suckle on the boob and I'm totally fine with that I don't care like if my kid wants my boob I'm going to give her my boob but this is just a rough guide for me in the sense where I've got clients I've got places that I need to go to um I am human at the end of the day and I do need you know, to go to Coles or I do need that little bit of out time or I do need to go sit at a cafe because um, I believe that, you know, for my own mental sanity and for me to be the best I can be to, for her, I need to be able to do a little bit for me while she's thriving, if that makes sense. So um, it just gives me a rough idea of when I can do things. Like I said today, uh for her eve, uh, afternoon nap, so at the 12 o'clock mark after I fed her, that's when I can leave the house because she's kind of like had two good naps in the daytime and is ready for a very long nap, like that three and a half hour nap that she had. And then, yeah, you know, I'm fine. Three and a half hours is more than enough. I'm cheering, you know. Um, and when we come back home, she'll either wake up, suckle a little bit and then go to sleep, like without properly being awake or I'll wrap her up like today and put her in bed and she won't wake up till 4 o'clock, 4.30. So yeah, I will show you the rest of the night. So 
so there is only one more feed if that but that's my basic routine of the entire day from 6 a.m. till 1 1 a.m. in the night time and then we're on repeat again but if you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a like don't forget to share it with your friends and family and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel <laughs> It's now about her too. Other than that, I upload weekly videos. I upload every single Monday morning. And if you guys have any video suggestions, don't forget to leave them in the comments down below. If you're new here, welcome. If you've subscribed, thank you so much. And let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have a routine? Are you guys breastfeeding? How's your breastfeeding journey been? Let me know. I'd love, love, love to connect with you guys on this. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next three days, I was going to say. I'll see you guys in the next week. What? I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye.